Hello guys and girls, I'm Miguel Sanchez and welcome to the Royal Blocks. It's been two months since our last episode, but now we are back because we gotta continue the problem of why this series has been discontinued. I know I know what you're thinking here, but we still got a lot to get through. As you can see, this series of Royal Blocks is already coming to an end here. But don't worry. But but don't worry, there's still plenty more series to come. But today, here on the World of Blocks, we gotta take a look at why this series has been discontinued. Because uh, of the only person who created the series, Infinite Sunday Pit, who got terminated from DeviantArt for posting not safe for work, our, our work. That's totally inappropriate. But we gotta do it anyway, so let's begin. So yes, today we're gonna find out what's next for the World of Blocks in the Infinite Insanity Pit situation. Guys, this is going to be a big one. What you're about to see is totally 100% unreal and totally happening. It's going to shock you. It's going to kill you away. Boy, what you're about to see is totally unreal. And if you have seen the, uh, if you have seen our Future of the World of Blocks video, go, go, go check it out right now. I'll leave a link, the link to that will be on the top right corner of your screen, so go check it out. The info is up there for you to go click, click on it and watch it right now. However, everything will start. You ready for it? So am I. Then let's begin. First things first, the, the original series was created by Infinite Saturday Pit on DVR. She was the one who created all of this. Her her love contribution <laughs> made this possible. So, unfortunately, the link, her pay, her DVR account got terminated, but I'll, but I'll still leave a link to her page in the description below, so please go check it out. You want to go do so. Uh, for the, and this journal is written by Pit of Endless Disgust, also on TV Art. I gotta give credit to him. But I gotta give credit. To, I gotta give credit to her as well. And, uh, she created this journal. She wrote this journal. So thank you so much, the Pit of Endless Disgust on TV Art. You are the best. Uh, go check out her. You know, go check out her page. We have the link. It's below. So please go to it right now. One final thing you need to know. Warning. Blurry Blocks is a property of Blues and Animation Studios. I'm blessed over the end of BBC. You know by now, it is the British Broadcasting Corporation. No copyright infringement is intended. I owe nothing. You have a warrant. Thank you so much for your attention. Now sit back and enjoy this very important announcement. It's going to shock you. <laughs> spoilers ahead. You know, we have some spoilers ahead. You have to, to be warned. What you're going to see is not safe for work and not intended for children. So be warned. Got it? Good. This, this, this doesn't feel a little bit of swearing, but I'm going to censor that just for your being pleasure. So you're ready? Good. Enjoy the very important announcement. Let's go. What's next for the world of blocks? The Infinite Study Pit situation. CW, racism, heavy world, heavy real world topics, grooming, Trump predators. The Infinite Study Pit situation. To preface this, I am not the only one backing up Alex's claim. However, I and the other users were featured in the following screenshots are, are, are to be kept anonymous as well. Yesterday, as many of you know, no. As many of you may have been aware of not only DVR, but also Scratch as well, Alex released a public statement calling out SubSuite, or IIP, and her history of, of exposing NSFW to minors. NSFW is a abbreviation for Not Safe for Work. Good. Guy, good. This is a post intended to support his statements and include our, include our screenshots of the red evidence of the entire situation. SubSuite, also known as Learning Blocks on Scratch and Tumblr, has been a long term figure within the Number Blocks slash Learning Blocks community and is the creator of the World of Blocks series, which I did before. Which I did before. I did the World of Blocks and so did If It's Said She created the World of Blocks series, series, so now you know. Uh, regardless of whether or not you have indulged in her content in the past, please keep an open mind for to the following claims against her and keep her out of this community for the safety of especially minors. May have exposed to her in the future. In the case she does make a return, yes. In the case she does make a return, yeah. Let's hope if it's any paper doesn't come back. If it does, we'll have more story for you. So please stay tuned, my friends. Stay tuned. Anyways, uh, I also ask that although Sosui needs to be deplatformed immediately, do not witch hunt her or direct any or direct any hate attacks, etc. Because it's not worth it. Totally not worth it. Do not only her but anyone involved as well this post should hopefully clarify the drama once and for all and it does not need to be taken to the next level <sighs> guys this is true totally not true it's gonna happen for real uh the aki situation 
The following screenshots took place on October 2nd on the website Aggie.io. If you're unfamiliar with the website, it is an online drawing pad that allows for multiple artists to collaborate in real time together. And also has a chat function. Oh my gosh, Aggie.io, huh? <laughs> yeah, please go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below, so please go check out the website, Aggie.io. The link will be in the description below, so please go check it out. Uh, the link is per the link to this particular Aggie was shared in a private group chat upon logging on to the Aggie. The drawing pad was filled with edits and W drawings of Soto Suite's Water Block characters. For obvious reasons, I would not be leaking a picture of the Aki itself. But keep in mind, the edits of W drawings were created in the presence of multiple biters. Keep in mind, Soto Suite herself is 19 and in college. Regardless of whether or not these these biters consented, in no way is ever <laughs> okay. For an adult to be drawing NSFW in the presence of children. Quite frankly, for some sweet to be attempting to pass the blame on to another minor who was involved in disgusting. Uh, who was involved is disgusting. A fully where adults should know far better than to even allow other minors to join in drawing NSFW with her. As if drawing in as if drawing it in their presence was horrid enough, her flimsy attempt to pin on to pin this on someone else involved and claim their behavior stems far before their meanings solidifies her guilt alone. Aside from drawing NSFW in the presence of minors, the chat also exposed some sweet directly encouraging and pressuring the minors involved in drawing NSFW of her characters on the Aki. No. We got the Word of Blocks to return. Bring back the Word of Blocks and bring back the Sunny Pit. I swear to you. Moving on. For the sake of privacy, for the sake of privacy, certain screenshots will be omitted. However, there were there was drawing. There was a drawing in the Aggie included uh, of a certain minor claiming they were too afraid to draw at his FW. And another chat instance of Subtle Sweet saying. I know you want to do it in response to a minor refusing to draw porn of her character. Furthermore, the following screenshots were the messages sent in the chat at the time of her exposure. None of us. Why are you drawing NSFW times two? So sweet. Because you want to. By number one. I'm not. Anonymous. I see my number two was here too. So sweet. You leave my number two out of this. None of us. Do you re not realize she's a minor and you're exposing to her exposing her to this stuff? By number one. I'm screwed, so sweet. We're both screwed. By number one, breathe uncontrollably fast, so sweet. Run! Keep in mind that certain uses are censored to protect the identity of and safety of minors. Guy, okay, moving on. In any of the following screenshots provided, not once does so sweet ever make an attempt to refute these claims. Instead, tries to escape the situation upon being called out by anonymous eagle. By number one, I should made I, sh I shouldn't made any NSFW. So sweet. They should they shouldn't have been so sensitive. None of us. Are you F I N G? Yeah, F. You know. Ing. You know. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Sensitive. Yeah, are you kidding me? Yeah. The F word cannot be said on this channel. Sorry, people. I gotta make it family friendly, so keep that in mind. Uh, instead of taking responsibility, Salt Sweet even more hor horrifyingly claims that those exposing her were sensitive. So as we was drawing a split porn of her characters in the presence of minors. There's a huge problem with that statement above. But for her to be attempting to dismiss her behavior that matches a child predator as sensitive raises enough red flags as is. No. Anonymous. It's it's illegal for minors to view porn as Adults, you should know better. So sweet. We didn't mean for any of this to happen. None of us in the screenshot. Again, further confirms just how illegal Soda Sweet's behavior is. I would also like to further point out that Soda Sweet attempts to defend herself with a flimsy excuse when she is, again, an adult in college. Not only should she know far better as an adult surrounded by a community filled with children, but she should also be taking a full responsibility for her actions presented. Instead, she attempts to victimize her, victimize herself. Now you know. Come on, moving on. None of us. Then don't expose kids to porn. It's that simple. So sweet. We won't. None of us. Don't you realize how traumatic that can be? So sweet. We know. 
and out of us. Then why did you do it to Minor Number Two? Again, Subtle Sweet once again confirms she is aware of just what exactly she has been doing to Miners, and still continue to her, her behavior until she was called out. So Sweet is absolutely aware just of just what she has been doing, yet still confirmed to shove and as of her characters on to the liability of multiple miners. Regardless of if these screenshots in particular have consent or the people involved here to Ben So Sweet, she cannot and should not be trusted again within this community full of children who could possibly fall into a similar trap of NSFW. <sighs> and it's about to get even worse. The aftermath of the Aggie is also just as horrifying in which Sosui attempts to victimize herself once more. I'm such a stupid pushover. I could have prevented this if I had just said something at the right time. I knew that something was wrong, but I was just too nice to stop it. This is not a child typing this. This is an adult. An, an adult who is aware they are idolized by many children. An adult who has failed to be a proper role model for when the children that idolize her needed it the most. So Sweet has failed to own up to her, to her actions. Instead, she has decided to play the victim and cry that she was too nice to stop it. You're a grown woman. You were the one expected to be protecting the safety of children and instead decided to violate their trust and throw them into dangerous, traumatizing situations. She is fully aware she was meant to take on the responsibility of it at the very least, protecting vulnerable children. But instead, she has become a predator who is now a dangerous threat to children and the little in the learning blocks community. Continue NSFW behavior online. However, outside of the Aggie itself, so Sweet's heavy NSFW behavior has continued even beyond October 2nd. Again, so Sweet's audience is mostly very young children, as it as is the learning blocks community in general. And she is also very aware of this. Take a look at this picture here. There is, take a look at this screenshot here. There is a moment when Octonani almost defeated Octoblock. The tentacles wrestled until he had pinned down, ready to strike him out. And then a passing blockhead just had to say those damning words. Look, mommy, head tie! Octonani was so embarrassed, he fled the scene immediately. Comment by Infinite 70 Pit. Watch it. Published on September 22nd, 2020. If it's already paid, its name is crossed out by a line. Now you know. Uh, it goes without saying that many young children uh, uh, li likely view Soto Sweet's posts. And this is the type of content Soto Sweet has been exposing her audience to. The, in uh, the internet itself is always plagued with similar predators and inappropriate content. However, for Soto Sweet to be encouraging posting jokes like these to very young kids. Who may have attempted? Who may attempt to imitate and to imitate her behavior is further evidence of her disgusting predator-like behavior. I would also like to further point out that she projects similar behavior on her own characters, such as, such as Iris. Iris, huh? Let's take a look. Block an enemy. Explain the horrifying, uncomfortable detail. Add favorite comment. Oh my gosh, studying. Five fifths already pit. Watch her, again. Her name crossed out. Sorry. 11 favorites, 9 comments, 182 views. Yeah, the word blocks, hashtags there. Iris had had to learn everything about her subjects. And yeah, it's pretty much it for that. Oh my gosh. Uh, if it's any pit, crossed out. September 15, 2020. She's at the page of about block reproduction. So we projecting a clearly uncomfortable and gross topic again in the presence of kids onto her own characters and series well known by children is yet another example of how her behavior has always been prominent within this public fandom beyond the private and uh, the private Aggie itself. Once more, her creepy behavior is not confined to behind the scenes where she is left unsurprised with children. Her subtle predatory attitude is indeed upon looking back, very noticeable in her public posts. Racial stereotypes. I also like I would also like to further point out Although not directed to anyone in particular, that Soda Sweet has also created downright racist stereotypes and flimsy attempts to sugarcoat very prominent and horrifying historical events, spe uh, specifically in her Country Blocks series. While not necessarily posing to danger to others, this will be uh, included in, regardless, to pave 
light on her racist actions, as well as to further discover support for her World of Blocks writings. Oh no. I've been doing this since July of last year, and now it might come to an end. So, fingers crossed, people. Let's hope we can bring it back. Uh, Japan's ears perked up as she heard footsteps. She looked over with her animesque eyes and gasped, Look, China! Oh no. Look, look at this. In particular, it is the Asian countries featured in her writing that have suffered racial, racist stereotypes. For one, describing specifically Japan to have animesque features is immediately a red flag. Rather than choosing to describe another feature of the block, so sweet instead jumps to the anime stereotype to represent Japan, rather than any other culturally appropriate term. We love America, we really do, whispered Mexico, but, but she's definitely not the nicest block. She was tried to build a wall on one of her borders in order to keep me out for apparently being annoying. And things are about to get even worse here. And another and another time she blamed doing China for getting any everyone sick out of Brazil. Nevertheless, the group followed to America to wherever the next set of country blocks were. Now more bad news. So to sweet then further attempts to portray sensitive modern day issues which easily comes off as insensitive and even mocking with the content talk context of country blocks. Yeah, of her country blocks. Referring racist standards in America against, uh, against immigrants, as well as COVID-19 and similarly racist attitudes held towards China that are both still very much a serious issue in society today. However, Sotosui takes this to another level by portraying the events of World War II, specifically the Pearl Harbor bombing and the Hiroshima Nagasaki bombing as a joke. Having the protagonist, Eris, mock the event as Sotosui provides her own sugar-coated version of both horrifying events. Oh no, Hiroshima slash Nagasaki bombing. Totally no good. Oh my gosh. Then America spoke up. I tried to stay out of the, uh, of the conflict, but then Japan did take the... Um, but then Japan did the unthinkable. She destroyed my favorite toy ship. Iris almost laughed at this, but her amusement dis dissipated when she heard America's next words. The country block's voice going from peeved to remorseful. I retaliated in the worst possible way. I took a firecracker and shot it directly into Japan's eye. And that's about and, and more sad news for you. Note, note the warning on Iris. Note the warning of Iris in particular. Iris almost laughed. It is clear Subtle Sweet had attempted to portray both traumatizing events in a comedic light. Another issue is, again, many young children indulge in her content. Portraying both events in such a flimsy, sugar-coated manner can easily leave the wrong impression on many. This is it. Battle Park, guys. Country Block in general, Country Blocks in general features many racist stereotypes from the designs themselves. To the way Sosby has attempted to water down modern day issues for the co for comedic value, and rather than handling these events with care to an especially impressionable audience, she has instead managed to expose herself as agreeing with racist stereotypes and attitudes. Now for the conclusion. Yeah, let's wrap up this video once and for all. Conclusion. Before ending this, I would again like to make it clear to not attack either Soda Sweet or any of the people involved, Alex or defenders of Soda Sweet included. Instead, please signal boost this as much as possible, reposting it and spreading it to as many people as possible will hope will also help severely. It will also help severely. I, will, I, will, I write this not as a personal attack, but instead as an attempt to protect any further victims of Soda Sweet and to defend on all of those she has heard already. No matter how good you believe her content to be, please stop supporting her as she cannot be trusted in the presence of children for any longer. TLER, Soda Sweet, also known as Lori Blacks or Infinite Seventy Pit, is both a confirmed child predator and also a racist who should not be supported within this fandom and needs to be deplatformed immediately. End of journal. And that's it, guys. It is the end of the journal, my friends. The story is over. That's the end of the world of plugs, or is it? We'll soon find out. Well, that's that's that's, that's the end of the drop. But we'll next time see we'll be reading. I'll be reading the comments of that journal very very soon. But for now, this video must end here. So yes, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um.
Oh my gosh. Uh, if you want to go check out, if you want to check out every single chapter, every single story in the world of lives, go check out the playlist right now. The links to that will be, will be on the top right corner of the screen. Go check out this playlist and watch it, and watch every single story from the very beginning all the way until the end. So please, don't do it now. But right now, everything else comes to an end. I'll see you for Moshi Monster Bye for you later on today. And coming soon, we'll have the Moshi Monster League Season 1, Day 18. So please be on the lookout for that when it comes out. <sighs> but yes, everything must come to an end. So with that being said, thanks for watching. I'm because it's just you be yourself, and I'll see you next time on The World of Blocks. Yes, we read your comments soon, so stay tuned. Play more. No, yeah, next time we see you, we'll be reading the comments of that journal, so don't miss it, my friends. I'll, no, I'll, I'll be making a separate video as I'll, as I'll be discussing as I'll be discussing what's going to happen next to The World of Blocks, so please don't go anywhere. The next time we see you, we'll be taking a look at the aftermath of The World of Blocks, so stay tuned. We read your comments soon. Hope to see you there. For now, thanks for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to not miss a new video, please. Everyone, subscribe to the notification, turn on to not miss another new video from me as we are on the road to 900 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching today. I am Miguel Sanchez. You be yourself. Have a lovely day. And let's break back the world of blocks once and for all. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless and happy gaming. I've begun stitches. Sign off. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Later's.